That's, um, that's what I wanted to ask you. And so were there some things that you thought acting would be or the process would be that once you were doing it, once you were doing all the auditions, booking these, these roles, that it was completely different than you originally thought? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I had a, a sort of subconscious assumption because all of us are viewers, right? So you see a perfectly edited show or film, the score is amazing, the music is swelling, you're feeling the feelings, the sound mix is perfect, and it's designed to allow you to feel on every sensory level what you're watching with your eyes. And when you're making a television show or a film, it has to be silent on a set. You can't have an overlapping conversation the way that you would in real life because it screws up sound. So there's this strange delay, there's immense technicality, there's no music that makes you feel things, and it's so repetitive. And then, you know, I'll never forget, when we first got out to Wilmington, it was mid-July, it was 100 degrees, it was 95% humidity every day, and we were filming episodes that were gonna be airing at the end of September, so we all had to be in sweaters and leather jackets every day. And so we're we're on set. You can't run the AC. Yeah, you can't run the air conditioning because it also screws up the microphone picking up sound. So we were, I mean, just sweating, melting. People on our crew were, were suffering heat stroke. And I was like, oh, there's this kind of story out there in the world that actors get babied and taken care of. And like, there is nobody here to take care of us. <laughs> <laughs> you're on your own melting. Yeah.